I mean, he's constantly throwing little bits and little bits and little bits constantly. It's like a little bit of vinegar, 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 and then red pepper, red pepper, red pepper, some salami. It's intense and the line has only gotten just as long as it was. And it took me like 45 minutes standing there in line. <laughs> from Kuala Lumpur. It's a very early morning, about six o'clock. Uh, and uh, it's early because we have a early morning train because today we're headed to Penang. We've been told to go to Penang. I can't countless times. Penang is just like, if you go to Malaysia, you don't go to Penang. Eh. It's like go to Malaysia and not go to Langkawi or something like that. It's, it's extremely recommended place and it's extremely recommended because of the food scene. So I hear that the food is unbelievable. I've seen some YouTube videos, so I've, I've seen it. And there is uh, just so many different types of food, just very wide ranging. So last weekend we went to Langkawi. If you haven't seen that video, check that video out. Langkawi was a beautiful island, no doubt about it. So, and if you liked the video, please subscribe. I would say about 75% of the viewers of our videos are unsubscribers. So if you're one of those people, just hit subscribe. That would be appreciated. It's just, it's free. Just, it's one click of a button. It's yeah. like, it's like one muscle in your finger and it helps us so much. Yeah. <laughs> So many freaking outlets. Wait, ten freaking outlets. Plus, if you call that outlet, you can take this eleven freaking outlets. There's to be a lot of freaking outlets. Yeah. Another idea that this Airbnb would have so many freaking outlets. Yeah, there's eleven freaking outlets. <laughs> wow, that was oh. such a long drive. What was that like? How long was that? Like an hour and a half, two hours? Just from the train station? Yes. Jeez, my goodness. Oh. And then, wow, oh, I just popped out of there. And then, oh my goodness, that train ride. Holy moly. So cold. If you thought airplanes were cold, <laughs> Malaysian trains take the top. Yeah. Oh man, I'm beat. Jeez. So. I had no idea it was going to be, uh, uh, I mean, it, it wasn't that long of a drive, but the problem is, is that the um, traffic was so bad. So, and we were actually freezing. I was freezing inside that, um, that train. Whew, man, Amy had to give me one of her scarves because I was so cold. So you, if you, if you do that train ride, uh, bring a... Uh, bring a jacket. The boys, luckily, the boys had pants on and jackets because their mom is so smart. She tells me to bring a jacket or something like that. I'm like, I don't need no jacket. I need I'll a jacket. I'll pick it up asking them. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's bad. All right. So we got a pretty nice view out there, though, huh? Yep. Yeah. Not as nice as the uh, pictures portray. Oh, that's a cool pigeon. It's like so a black and white one. This pigeon right here is black and white. 
That's cool. Yeah, but at least we can see the water. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad for a, uh, you know, a cheap, cheap room. Yeah. And Ada, you and Bastion don't have to share a bed. Dude. I put it so that we were walking distance to as many things as possible. I don't know how real that is, because you never know how the map is versus reality. Oh, okay. A hard power away, is he? Okay, so he is, he says, um, very jammed, please wait. I said, okay, we will wait. He said, thanks. Okay, hopefully we get there in time. Yeah, I mean, he has not moved hardly at all. I mean, this place is so, uh, man, the traffic is really bad in Penang. I've never seen that before. So yeah, Charcoal Tao, that's what we're gonna go have. Yeah. Siam, Siam Road, Charcoal Tao is the place we're gonna go to. Yep. Because uh, you just said uh, you wanted some charcoal towel, and with the hay, uh, you looked it up, and they had the best ratings. Yeah, it was the first thing on the list of Penang foods to eat, and oh, okay. New Siam Road charcoal towel was number one on the list of places to go eat charcoal towel. Okay, great. shrimp in it. Oh man. So one to ten, how good is it? Well, it's about a seven or eight, but I have a feeling it's going to get ready to hit a ten. Mmm. Yep. It's a ten. Red pepper, red pepper, red pepper, some salami. It's intense and the line has only gotten just as long as it was. And it took me like 45 minutes standing there in line. Cockles. was a good first day in Penang. That charcoal tao was awesome and ended up being Aiden's favorite meal of Penang. The rest of us agreed that the Nasi Kandar was our favorite, but we will talk about that a bit later. Our hostel was right in the middle of the Georgetown area of Penang, which is a great central location to explore from. On this next day, we were walking to get some breakfast and were stopped by a Chinese family and given some moi chi, which is a glutinous rice ball dish with cooked nuts, sesame seeds, and sugar. It was yummy. So thank you to whomever you were that gave it to us. So we gathered as friends to make moa tea for everybody. So why we do that is because in the past in China, every, there's actually like class system and then there's also guy and girl separate. So only except on this day, everyone will gather together. So we hope in the world will be a better place where also everyone gather together without any like, you know, this. Uh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's what we hope and to wish the world and we hope that you will be happy, good health, good luck, yeah. and so we, so we do yeah. <laughs> so actually, this we made it ourselves. We oh, woke okay. up at two a.m. to actually prepare everything okay. to 
put our heart to it. <laughs> so we hope you guys will enjoy this wati. It's called wati. Okay. It's vegetarian. It's, yeah. Thank you. Do you like that one? Uh, yeah, I, uh, do you yeah, think we should be, should we take all of them? Yeah, you you can. We have. I mean, okay, you have all people. Okay, will be good. Yeah. Okay. So good. It's, it's actually it's just like a snack. Uh -huh. And it's like made of glutinous rice. Right? Have you ever eaten wati before? No. Uh, you should try yeah. it. <laughs> okay. Well, so we're gonna go get some coffee, so we'll try it. Thank you. <laughs> sure. Hope yeah. you will no, enjoy come. the day. <laughs> Alright, well, happy new year. Happy, happy new year. year. Yeah. We wish you good health. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck. Right. Thank you. Let's go, sir. Bye. Well, that was cool. They, they brought us these gifts. It's sort of like us going out on uh, Chinese New Year and uh, handing out those uh, money envelopes. See, and now we got uh, we got breakfast. I think it's, I think it's, that was really very nice. It just so happens this was the last day of Chinese New Year, and to give this to us was part of the giving celebration. So that was a great addition to breakfast, and it all got eaten. Oh, and if you're here and having a craving for some fantastic baked goods, this Black Kettle restaurant totally delivers. Today also happened to be the Indian holiday Thaipusam, which is a sight to behold. There are various ceremonies, dances, and of course, a lot of body piercings, which is definitely visually interesting. Containers have milk in them, and there are other people that are walking with them that have containers of milk to refill them, if they fall or if they spill. This is a religious festival and there are very deep religious reasons for all this, but for this vlog, we will give you the visuals. Oh, and it was so loud. Goodness, it's so loud. Imagine like a million man army just marching towards you. That's what it sounded like. Did you lose your hearing? Huh? Did you lose your hearing? I can't hear anything you say. We just happened to be in Penang on the perfect day to catch both the end of Chinese New Year and Taipusam. Next up, we went to Penang Hill, where we went up the very unique tram that takes you up the mountain. On top of Penang Hill, there are various tourist activities that you can do. We decided to check the area called the Habitat, which is these great elevated walkways that look over the rainforest. There is also the sky bridge, which they call the highest lookout in Penang.
After spending a couple of hours on top of Penang Hill, it was time to take the tram back down and go get some lunch. So now we're headed to get another food, another Penang food. Yep. Nasi Kandar. Kandar. Kandar? 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 Uh, it's a nasi dish. It's a yeah. chicken dish, rice, mm -hmm. like a biryani and curries and that sort of thing. Yeah, a whole bunch of variety of stuff served with it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna go to a place called uh, Hamadia. Yeah. It had like 3,000 reviews. It was in a lot of the vlogs. Uh, it looked like a nice place. Yeah. So uh, okay. Well, uh, Penang Hill, definitely a place to come. Yeah. Very beautiful. Okay. Definitely recommend it. Okay. Let's go eat. Thank you. So are you close to get any specific food? Uh, yeah, we're here to get some uh, nasi candle. Mixed rice, yes. white rice or biryani basmati rice, two type of rice, okay. and some mixed sauce. Okay. Mixed sauce, which you want chicken, you want beef, and the lamb, okay. your choice. Okay, so what do you guys want? Chicken, beef, or lamb? All of it. All of it. So, one of each? Yeah. Okay. So, would three nasi kandar feed the four of us? No? Sorry? Three? Nasi kandar? Yeah. With? Would that be enough for all four of us? Okay, yeah, enough. You can say so. Okay, so one of each. Beef, chicken, lamb. Lamb. <coughs> chicken. We have a fried chicken, onion chicken, honey chicken, curry chicken, a roasted chicken, oh. and turkey chicken also. Okay, let's do one fried chicken. Okay. One roasted chicken. Okay. One lamb. Okay. And one beef. Okay. And some fried chicken. Okay. Roasted chicken. Okay. So roasted chicken, fried chicken, lamb. Yeah, I'm sorry. I give you some this food. Okay. And then beef. Oh, okay, so beef. And then this one is Roasted chicken. Roasted chicken. Yep. Lamb. Lamb shake. Yep. And fried chicken. Fried chicken. I'm going to completely demolish this. This looks fantastic. This is the roasted chicken. It is spicy, but it's deliciously spicy. Oh, let me try some beef. It's uh, musical plates here. The beef is pretty awesome. Ooh, a little lamb action. I don't know. It's all really, 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 really good. It is. It's like really good. Chicken has that spice on the outside that's just so good. Such a hard decision. Glad we got all of them. Yeah. Best I've had. So this appears to be some sort of chutney in here, and this is like a cabbage, huh? We think it's a cabbage? Yeah. So this is a cabbage, there's a chutney in here, and then you got your meats. And then what is this right here? What's this sauce? It's a curry. It's a very spicy curry. And it is wild spicy. 
Oh, this is fantastic. This is my kind of meal right here. Yep. Most of the meat's gone. Yeah, the boys are still nibbling. Yeah. Uh, he's not done yet, but let's see. He was pretty hungry by the time we got here. Yeah. <laughs> he was almost unconscious. <laughs> so I ate 10% of that, uh, 50% of that, yeah. and like about 30% of this. Yeah, that's about right. After lunch, we walked a couple blocks to a chindo stall for that truly unique local dessert. It is usually served in a bowl. It is shaved ice with coconut milk, green jelly strands made from rice flour, palm sugar, and red beans. Year one. What's my choices? Grassier or milkier? Uh, you can have milkier, I'll take grassier. Okay. What's grassier mean? There's more like... Grass jelly. I thought you, uh, I thought because everyone else had bowls, but we got it to go. This is good. Everybody just has bowls and they're slurping it down. How is it? Very good. Awesome. Really? Okay. Tasty, you. very tasty. Put, put the straw in that. So this is mine? Yep. Alright. Oh! Wow. Oh, that is sweet. And it's salty. Yeah, salty and red bean and sweet. Mm-hmm. It's coming together really nicely. Yeah. It's sweet and it's salty and it's really refreshing on a hot day. Mmm. Oh yeah. Now I'm getting a whole bunch of stuff. This is really nice. Yeah. I wasn't sure how I was gonna react to it with all the different stuff that they put in it, but it's really good. Yeah. After that, we went back to the hostel to rest up and then went to visit Fort Cornwallis, an 18th century British fort. It did have some interesting history, but it was $20 US for entry for all four of us. We thought that was pretty steep, just to come in and look around. Right next to the fort is the Penang Esplanade, a waterfront location with a big grass-covered field, which was where the Chinese New Year celebration was being held. So we walked over there to check it out. So it started out as girls who were not married yet and were reaching an older age would throw the mandarins as a prayer or a wish into the sea. And then it, people start, as the people start getting phones and emails, uh, depending on where you live, I guess, either the girls throw it out or the guys throw it out. And then the other sex, the, the girl or the other guys, go out and pick up the oranges in boats. We had had a long day and decided to get to bed early as we were heading back to KL the next day. But not before we got a chance to check out all the Penang street art right in Georgetown and of course get some breakfast and pastries at Black Kettle. Serious bread eater there, bro. <laughs> I think the street art in Penang is a must see, and I'm not the only one. There were a lot of people out doing photo walks, and the most well known street art are even listed on Google Maps. <laughs> 